Good morning, early, early guys. Uh, we got a hoarder job today. It's gonna take two days more than likely, hopefully not three. Got like four guys showing up uh, to help out. So hopefully it should be good. Might do an A and B video, part A today, B tomorrow. But I will film as much as possible and keep you posted. Got the rain going. What kind of big day and big job would it be without the rain falling on our backs, huh? But it should stop here in a few hours. Um, and we should be good to go and it decides the job's inside so we'll see you over there all right guys we got posted up outside got the contractor worker sign got the um uh water for them gloves safety stuff posted up out front got a nice driveway for people to still use so we can be here that's convenient overhang out of the rain so that's real nice all right, going inside, everything out here stays. And in here, we're just putting up the stairs. And we will begin. Starting a pile of just clothes, because those can be donated. Filling up the truck. Clearing out the landing. First, starting upstairs, bringing everything down. Then we'll go downstairs, bring everything up. Three levels on this one. Clearing out the landing. Stairs clear. Oh, okay. Uh, that would be, I think, kitty litter. Maybe. Or maybe something came out of something. Clothes. This is our second load this big. That's a 10 gallon, just to give you the size. These are 55 gallon bags, all clothing. Filling up the truck. Getting some walkways done. Okay, these walkway. Stare good. Excuse me, Solomon. Let me just take a look here. There's like kid litter all over the floor, slipping on it. Yeah. Okay. Furniture stays, right? Yep. Dresser and beds? Yep. Cool. Very good. Which one? The oh, the chair? Yeah, okay, got, thank you. Got blue on it. Awesome. It's a lot of clothes, right? Got that closet cleared out. Man, whatever this is, I think that's kitty litter. It is. Dumping the first load. Did the donation load, uh, got that first one going. We already have two and a half more ready to go. At the next Had a couple guys not show up. That was fun. And finally got one more here. So if you ever do this, put extra guys on just in case. Um, but anyways, I knew that might happen. I had, I think four or five guys that were supposed to show up. I've got three there now. So uh, maybe one more might show up that I called as a, as a second, but you know, I haven't heard from them. Anyways. Dump in the first load and uh, I'll go ahead and just keep documenting things as they go. It is pissing cats and dogs. I do not want to go to the dump where it's muddy. So I'm going to the transfer station. I will pay the premium. And uh, it's also closer and uh, be able to dump faster. Instead of, uh, you know, 40 minutes one way, we're only going 17 minutes one way. It's the best thing to do. So we have a van that's running the donations back and forth, which is a really good thing because the transfer station that was close by, I just went there and they are having a flood. So they're not taking any trucks, which really puts a damper. It adds, you know, instead of a 17 minute drive time, it's like gonna be 35 to 40 minute drive time each time we dump. Big difference, uh, that's each way. And so that kind of sucks. But anyways, you got a plan for that, I guess. We have the van still doing the donation dump runs. And uh, I guess, uh, so anyways, here I am at the dump, uh, which is on the other end of the city. off the truck. I've shown it in my other videos, but it's still cool. 
So the basement in the house, I just got a call from Logan, does not have any lights. So we have to go get a plug-in lamp stand uh, that we're gonna use. And I think I have one back at the shop, so I had to go grab that with an extension cord and hopefully there's electricity down there. All right. There we go. All right. All clothes. Whole truckload. All just clothing. Got him coming out. Fire department had to show up because there wasn't safe walkways and stuff, and it's one of the reasons they had to do this. So, yep. All right, we've got the entryway cleared. We got a bunch of these clothes up. This stuff here is going. Starting to get there. Oh, uh, yeah, you got the bathroom. Good. Um, Logan, where's it at? This way. Okay. Nice. So what light we do have, we have running. Okay. It's just that one and there's one in the closet there. So okay. The other fixtures is nowhere to screw one in. Okay. So. Woo, we got our work ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so we'll just get some light down here. I'll go get something to plug in. Yeah. Going upstairs, we've got all these clear. A couple bags here, but nice. Get the bathroom clear. That's good. Closet. This room, we can see it now, and there's furniture, light. Very good. Just a few things. Easy stuff. Easy. They're keeping all this. Okay, the room, man, this, oh yeah, fantastic. So they keep in the bed and what's on it? No. This furniture? The whole thing? No, just, just the pads. Just the pads, okay. But this cage and these are staying. Okay, so let's just, uh, let's just pull up those pads because it's got a blue tape on it. So let's just pull these pads off really quick, I'll help you. Yeah guys, the fire department had to come by because I guess she fell. A little while back and um, the fire department could not get in the house because it was just too much stuff So I guess it's one of the reasons they did this so the fire department wanted to see us doing the work make sure that's being taken care of And so they came by to check on us and all that. I am almost to the Goodwill They have a donation center down here. We'll be uh, donating at and uh, Dropping all the clothes. Hopefully they can take a whole truckload. I've never brought an entire truckload 13 yards of clothing before wow you've entered the parking lot for your destination there we go arrived hopefully they can take it all guys i had to go to the next goodwill i showed up that was such a small goodwill with the truck he freaked out on me he was cursing he's like i can't do this so anyways, uh, had to show up to this one. <sighs> Old truckload, I just gotta get a picture. There we go, thank you guys. Got the pizza for the workers, got some sodas, more trash bags. Gotta keep that going. More debris, and we'll get the dumps going. So, um, yeah, we're good. Um, I got your van uh, good to go, so. Piece is coming out. Okay. Those mattresses there. All right. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry, man. No, it's all good. Go ahead. Down in the basement, getting it clear. Well, hey, man, there's a lot. To, uh, I mean, the lights are working too, so that's good. <clears throat> Cleared out, man. We couldn't even see this place before. This is great. Yeah, this is great. 
so we got the garbage can filling up the brute can sweet okay guys we have um, finished up our fourth load fourth load four and a half I think I'm five um, and uh, yeah just running ro loads back and forth I will uh, we started from the top so we got the upstairs pretty much done and uh, we are down in the basement now pulling everything up and we got half of the midsection done too so we're actually moving quite along uh, really nicely uh, considering the fact that a lot of people didn't show up and whatnot and I got to try and get more people here and the guy that was here this morning left early and then another guy showed up late and left early that winter anyways um, I will uh, take more video when I get back real quick okay Get in the kitchen, uh, making a little way here. Sorry, Logan, I got held up. One of them's leaving. Oh my goodness, dude! You guys, you guys rocked it down here. Yeah. Wow, man. Yep, we're still banging it out. But... Look, we got this pile here. We got. Look at how much. What? Almost yes. It almost is. This is fantastic. They did want this washer pulled out of there, so we're gonna have to do that. Man, look at all the room. So we got the midsection after this. Oh, you guys did awesome. Oh, yeah. All right. This is good. I... Lining up the clothes out on the porch. Still just for days. Clothes and clothes. Taking apart the heart to hide a bed. Take out the metal part, collapses just like that, nice and easy. Good job, Logan. Waiting in line at the dump. Four o'clock. Hopefully, I can make it back there in time. Do another load. Uh, takes me about 20 minutes, so I don't know. As long as I make it back here before five, I'll be all right. We shall see. Guys, we made it in time. I don't know if you can see that. 4.56. 4.56, they close at 5. They were like, you're going to be fast? I was like, heck yeah. So we got one more load done. Awesome. I had them stage the area. So as soon as I got back to the house that we were working, they were just loaded up. It took us less than, I think, a minute and a half to two minutes to just throw everything into the truck because it was like right there. And uh, so really awesome. That means we can go back, load up one more load, dump that at 5 a.m. tomorrow, then show up at the job, keep it going. So, that's how you do it. Yeah, the operator was what, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool find. Your phone went or something like that. Went to. Last truck load for the day. We started on this unit tomorrow. And in the back, got lots of scrap. All the way down. We're clearing all that out tomorrow. Six people come in, should be good. So, anyways, part B coming tomorrow.